first indication that the, to me the lines and squares in this image make little sense but they could hold a key to developing the world's first coronavirus vaccine professor robin shattuck and his small team here in west london are in a global race to find an inoculation against the potentially fatal virus they've had one major breakthrough already they're nearly at the clinical trial stage to get here would normally take two to three years they've done it in 14 days we'll have it in animal models by the beginning of next week so we've kind of short track that part um, the next phase will be to move that from early animal testing into first in human studies and we think with adequate funding we can do that in a period of a few months the UK has pledged 20 million pounds to CEPI the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, an international agency set up in 2017 to deal with health crises exactly like this one. And a further £20 million for rapid research into coronavirus here in the UK. The money is crucial, but so too is knowledge. The 2003 SARS epidemic killed some 800 people. At the time, China was severely criticized for withholding information. This time, it's been praised for sharing crucial data with the international health community. The lessons learned following the 2003 SARS outbreak are proving crucial in helping scientists deal with this epidemic. But the SARS vaccine was never fully developed. Once the virus died out, the funding dried up. Dr. David Heyman is one of the world's leading experts on infectious diseases. He led the international fight against SARS and told me this time a vaccine must be developed. Today we have a new uh, coalition, the Coalition on Epidemic Preparedness and Innovation, which is based here in London, which is stimulating development of vaccines. And hopefully that will continue to stimulate development of corona vaccines after this outbreak is over. It may not be effective in getting a vaccine for this outbreak. A vaccine may not even be necessary. But it would be nice to have a coronavirus vaccine somewhere on the shelf that could be rolled out during a future epidemic. The coronavirus is still spreading fast. It's possible it could die off eventually, but it's also true that it has the potential to become a pandemic. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.